Hi, Zach. How are Hello, Amelia. Praise to the shadow. You are here. I was getting worried about you. What's going on, scum? Kane is moving to take power. He came with dozens of followers, killed many who stood in his way, threatened to do the same to countless more. As for you and I, Phobos, I promise that he has already planned our deaths. Zachariah, it is not my life I worry for. He will kill any and all who stand against him. He will wipe out human cities, destroying those with little more than sticks and rocks to defend themselves. Blood will drench this planet. And I'm sure all our names are probably top in the list. And we better make a move before it's too late. Look around, please. I'm just looking for information. Oh, well, all I have is goods to offer. My life is a... Hey. Hello. How are you? Someone told me about you, so I wanted to come say thanks. Your instructions helped me save my friend. I'm just happy you got there in time. We would have helped ourselves, but feared letting humans know free mutants roam around. Don't blame you. You see what led to all of that? By the time I got there, they tortured my friend, and the Technomancer in charge was leaving. Found himself surrounded by the Technomancer and his soldiers. Who wanted to know where they could find a man named Zechariah. You, I suppose. What did he tell him? Not the answer you are scared he gave. He said uh, nothing of your location. Instead, he told this other Technomancer that he knew who he was, but it did not seem to matter. The question was asked again. This time, your friend screamed back that he knew who he was, and that they must listen to him. That is when they began to beat him, and he began to scream for mercy. Mercy that would not come, even as he screamed that he could do something for them. The violence only grew. That is when we ran to warn Dandolo. What he was offering to do for them, I do not know. He never said. But it did not matter anyway. All they wanted to know was where you were. Nothing else to them mattered. The torture lasted for hours. Your friend... may be... not all there, but his loyalty cannot be doubted. Thanks, and thank you for going to Dandolo. Of course. Scott, thanks for coming. Please have a seat. I'm just trying to understand something. Ah, a scientific query. Let us engage. No, not quite. I just wanted to understand what you were doing with Alan under that shadow path. A couple mutants saw you and said you told Alan that you knew what he was, and that you could do... Of course the Jagass didn't give a damn. All he wanted to know was where we were. But what the hell were you trying to do, Scott? Do? I wasn't doing. I simply... I was doing something, but not what 
world. There are opportunities in life. He might have become an ally, a great technomancer. Even if you're not friends, he could... I was... a mistake. Scott, how long have we known each other? How much do I owe you? You're like a father to me. You know that. And you can tell me anything. Yes! And, and you like a... like a... more than a son. Without... <laughs> without all the messiness of diapers and all of... I'm just a stupid, silly old man, Zachariah. It is... A rather laborious story, some of which you know, some of which it was it was 17 years ago. With our corporation's unparalleled obsession with the perfect man, I I, I found myself ensconced in gene research. My son, my flesh and blood son. I loved that child, cherished him like nothing else, but my work stole time from him more and more, and when he was diagnosed with symptoms of the mutation, I, I disintegrated. As the best geneticist in abundance, I ensconced myself in research of its genome, discovering its mutation, and I heard whispers of tests the settlers had made, because they, too, had been coping with the chaotic mutative effects of the radiation. So, my friend, Mark, delivered me to a distant city, remote, nearly unlivable. I, I stayed there, pouring through their documents until one day, one day, I uncovered their work on a therapy which had only a singular side effect. It modified the human body's electrical production. Precisely. Technomancers are the result of a controlled genetic manipulation, mutations instigated to protect us for more erratic mutations created by the radiation. A discovery I found myself racing to try out on my son. But first, I needed test subjects. So I volunteered to heal children in the slums. Found two young boys there to test its efficacy. And lo and behold, it worked. Andrew and me. Yes, yes. Your abilities were gained thanks to my experiments, but that was not all that was gained. I had proof that I could replicate the therapy, and, and that, you know, now, could resist other forms of mutations. From there, well, I secured a research budget from the military, who in turn assured me they would return my son. But for him, it was too late. The experiment failed to help him, and I... I found myself with little choice but to end his suffering, rather than see him in a life of slavery, the life of a monster. And to the military, because I could not yet reveal what I knew, as I knew not yet what you were to become. Saw only my failure. I lost everything. Found myself socially exiled. And when Andrew's death came, you, you, Zachariah, became my only chance for success, my only chance to regain my past glory. So I kept close to you for all these years, until you finally became a technomancer, my success, a chance for me to win back my approval, glory within abundance. I would be the man who created technomancers. We needed to escape. By seeing Alan, I had hoped to fix that. That they might take you back, and in turn, I, I might... Madness. Madness had overtaken me. Greed. Instead of being proud of my success in you, I only wanted more and more, and... Forgive me. I... Leave me alone. Please.
Look around. One of my ostriches is limping. I think she's hurt. Have you tried to fly like it? Potential disruptions to the bloodbath they have prepared. I know of another way in, though. Follow me. Holy shit, it was a slaughterhouse. What made that psycho turn on his own people? Here I was thinking that every problem could be solved if you had big enough backup. That's how it should be. Unfortunately, people can't be stopped from stepping up and taking what they want. Change, Cain! Is your only path the one stained with blood, paved with hate? The same hate destroying your own people! Look around! This valley was once filled with peace, but it's now filled with gravestones! You cannot continue to lead our people down this road! You have gone too far, Cain. Fight someone your own size. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! 
kill him. Even if his heart pumps with pure hatred, spilling it makes us no better than he. It ensures more blood will follow. Please, be better than he is. Scum. If I were as good as you, I would not be me. And that is all I can be. One cannot continue to trim a weed that will not stop growing and spreading its seeds. One must rip it out by the roots. He will start wars among us, or between us. He cannot live another breath. Glad we taught that prick asshole Kane a little lesson. Scum's a good guy, though, even if his name sucks. It's gonna be hard to become chief with a name like that, even though he's a good one. Why aren't you running, Phobos? I have no interest. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Huh. Zachariah, you are living proof that our people can live in harmony. You have helped us enormously, but now I believe it is time to make a decision. We must present a chief to the assembly. The time for speaking, I am afraid, is dwindling. If our internal quarrels give rise to conflict within our own, we need someone to unite us. We must walk as one race, place differences aside. Then it should be you. There is no mutant who lacks respect for you. And unlike Cain, your leadership will not spill blood. As a strategist, though, you are greatly respected as well. Perhaps it is you who should run. I'm not one of you, but I've traveled with you, Phobos. I've seen what you bring. You could be the chief they need, now. At least think about it. And I believe you would fill such a role much better than I. I have wisdom, yes, but yours comes with the rigors of youth, which I lost some time ago. If both of you, in your hearts, truly believe it is best for us all, then... Yes, I will run and see then what the people have to say. Zack, thank you for your support. I will always be here to lend you aid, whenever you should need it. And I pray that you will find peace. Thank you, Phobos. I wish you the same. And a little luck for both of us. Friends! Brothers! Most know me. I am Phobos. I was one of the first seeds of our nation. I lead the fight to the deliverance of our race. Together, we fled from the corporations. We built our homes in this valley and forged it into our promised land. But our fight is not over. Freedom must be spread across Mars. Come, fight with me. Let us end this oppression and free all of our brothers who remain in chains. Only then can they experience the same peace and happiness that we have made for ourselves. Zachariah, we must talk. About what? This is your safe house. The ASC cannot reach you here, correct? That's the hope. But consider this. Even if Victor cannot reach you here, how many times has he tried to impede you, to track you? You've already had to escape from his grasp twice. Perhaps the time has come to be less passive, to gather your allies and take the offensive for once. Word of the power he accumulates in the People's Assembly of Abundance is terrifying. I speak not of violence, but perhaps of some other way to bring him down. With all that you have done for so many, I am certain many would be more than willing to come to your aid, and even more invigorated when that aid will bring such a tyrant to his knees. 
You have our support, the Techomancers, and any others you can gather. And from the great heights to which he has climbed, the fall will be tremendous. He will not recover. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is time to take the offensive. He's got a point, you know. Maybe you should talk to your captain. I mean, how long's the ASC? Greetings, Zachariah. It is good to see you again. How have you been getting on since I left? I've been doing pretty good. Is there something I can do for you? Hi. Zachariah, to what do I owe this privilege? I'm looking for work. You need help with anything? Our nation is just beginning. There is enough work for a billion men. For example, an old, worn-down pump at one of our Artesian wells has stopped working. And where it is, a creature lurks, terrifying our workers, keeping them from the repairs. If you could, get rid of the creature and make the repairs. You may need a good mechanic, unless you are able to repair it on your own. Let me see what I can do. I heard you escaped. How'd you do it? Through a very sad and beautiful story. Sad because of the lives such success cost. Beautiful for the outcome it created. Are you aware of the conditions of the prisoner camps? Factories of pain and sadness. Mutants are harassed by fellow inmates and guards alike. Beaten, mistreated, forced to work. Many died from exhaustion or untreated wounds. One day, one of my people had fallen from exhaustion. I tried to stop a guard from hitting him. Understand, I am not violent, but their violence had to stop. So I struck the guard, and after that, events escalated. Rioting soon had become the only solution. We never had the thought of running away, only the need to show we would not live in those conditions anymore. A man, another prisoner, gave us aid. You remember his name? Yes, Roy Temperance. He had a boy. Innocence, I believe. They give us tools to defend ourselves. But the key to our escape came with the death of the camp's administrator. A soldier? A Technomancer. Placed there by his superiors for disobeying orders, from what I understood. No one dared look him in the eyes. His name was... If I recall correctly, Sean Manser, did you know him? I... yeah. Yeah, I knew Sean. He was my master. He was growing tired of the path Abundance was taking, and he probably said it one too many times to one too many people. I am sorry, Zachariah. Even if his death made way for our escape, I can feel your pain. <laughs> What do you know about Seth? Little. A companion of Phobos at one time. And together, they helped found the valley before they grew apart. Seth was drawn by Cain's hateful rhetoric and sucked into his bitterness. Can you tell me about Demos? He chose his freedom name when Phobos did. Not bright, but dedicated with a loyal, caring heart. He was very involved in the development of our valley. And as far as I know, committed to Phobos' cause.
Door's blocked on the other side. Gotta find another path. Hi. You wanted to talk? I did. Yes, I did. I've heard many people say, even though you are human, you're a good person. Many say that without you, they would still be in the pen. I thought maybe you too could help me. Depends. What do you need help with? Yes, well, I need... Uh, we need weapons. To have any hope of helping our brothers held captive, we must be armed. I was given orders to arm a squad, but I have nothing to arm them with. And in Noctis, such things are far too expensive for us. But since I was told you travel, if on one of your trips you could find and bring us back a box or two. I can try. I'm sure I could get my hands on some of no fear somewhere. Thank you. Yes, I'm sure it would be a great, great help for us. Ah, now you look like a promising client. If you have serum, you have promise. And I have all sorts of artifacts and merchandise from all sorts of corporations. You are back so soon. As promised, should be enough to get you going. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know I've already asked you for a lot. But they are not used to fighting. Is there any way you could give them a lesson? Just a, a friendly fight. It'll help them get started. Sure, why not? I'll try not to hurt them. Phobos, chosen to be the great orator! He will surely address it to an era of peace and freedom.
My dear angel, what can I do for you? Is. There's the well we talked about. And here's the pump. It's a total wreck. I could fix it up, but I'd need the materials. Got another solution? I do know where we can grab the spares. City generators in Ophir and Noctis. It'll piss a lot of people off, but... Only thing I can think of. Up to you.
come. Someone sounds excited. Well, duh, the landscape's drop-dead gorgeous. As for the city, integrating with the valley's natural overhangs and alcoves to avoid using a metal dome, you're a genius. It makes me worry about getting fried. And we'll always be strangers there. For now, most mutants don't have an innate hatred for humans. We just need to give them time to heal. Still, we'll never be able to walk a mile in their shoes. And for that, we'll always be outsiders. I ain't mad, though. If I were them, it'd be my personal mission to fuck up every single humanoid who said good day to me. Don't stress out about the roof. You won't be instantly mutated. Though I have heard tales. But yeah, what a beautiful place. Natural, organic, how refreshing. Humans should take notes. This city makes me sad. You're not gonna cry, are ya? I just had these seats cleaned. I mean, I think I would have liked to, you know, know before. It's all right. Sad is too grand news. Wistful, yes, wistful. By Jove, I've done it. I think we got everything you need. You able to fix the pump now? Yeah, I got this shit on lockdown. Give me the parts. Shouldn't take long. Hi. Zachariah, to what do I owe this privilege? 
I got your well taken care of. No more creature, and it runs like new. A man of your word. Take this for your time and help. And if you have more time to help us, a serious matter has come to my attention. Our observers in Ophir report that a mutant group there now faces execution. Punishment for refusing to complete their tasks. Probably fixing the city shutters. Aurora's attacks blew a hole in Ophir's roof, considering how important it is to get it fixed. Humans hurt other humans and mutants face death. Yes, well, they are being held apart from the rest. They must be saved, Zachariah. I'll do what I can. Can't guarantee anything, though. Your best is better than our nothing. My brothers in Ophir have suffered enough. Yeah. <laughs> 